this very moment, your own life experiences that made you who you are. Susan, those exact experiences that made you the woman that you are here today. And for you, Roger, the same experiences that molded you to the man that you are standing here today. And that's what the unity candle will represent later on in the ceremony. Your two lives now becoming one in marriage. And throughout your journey, there's a few things I would love to uh, have stick with you both. It would be that from the heart to have the ability to listen to the other. They may have to offer their dreams, their wants, their goals. And secondly, the ability to learn what it takes to help them fulfill those desires, those dreams, those goals. And I'm pretty sure your lives together will be everything that you want it to be. Keeping in mind that Susan's happiness will be more important than your own. And for you, that Roger's happiness will be more important than yours. And with that, I'm pretty sure you both will be in very good hands. I'll ask you first, Roger. By your presence here today, alongside Susan, do you take her to be your wife and promising to love, honor, cherish, and respecting her allowing nothing or no one to come between the both of you. Do you take Susan as your wife? I do. Susan will ask you the same. By your presence here today, do you take Roger to be your husband in promising to love, honor, cherish, and respecting him, allowing nothing or no one to come between the both of you? Do you take Roger as your husband? I do. If I could have your bouquet, okay, please. If you guys can turn and face each other, take each other's hands, and looking into each other's eyes, you will see the very reason why you are here today, showing that there is no one more important than who stands before you. Now in this new relationship that you are creating, this one in marriage, it's gonna take the commitment of both of you to this love and to the marriage make it work. Looking into your eyes, I'll have you go first, Roger. If you could please repeat after me. I, Roger, take I, you, Susan. I, Roger, take you, Susan. To be my wife. To be my wife. I will be there for you. I will be there for you. Through good times and bad times. Through good times and bad times. Whether we are rich or poor. Whether we are rich or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Through laughter and tears. Through laughter and tears. I will love and cherish you. I will love and cherish you. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Now Susan, looking into his eyes, if you could please repeat after me. I, Susan, take you, Roger. I, Susan, do take you, Roger. To be my husband. To be my husband. I will stand beside you. I will stand beside you. Through success or misfortune. Through success or misfortune. Through the joys and sorrows of life. Through the joys and sorrows of life. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Through laughter and tears. Through laughter and tears. I will love and cherish you. I will love and cherish you. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. At this time, may I have the ring, please? Thank you. Now this ring that you have selected for Susan, it is a symbol, a token of the very love 
in the very devotion that we are speaking of here today. And my hope is that every day in wearing this ring may remind you of that exact promise. And in time, it will lose beauty, but I hope that you take honor in wearing it for what it truly represents, and the beauty will shine through you both. And you too will be a wonderful example to all. Roger, in taking her ring, if you could place it upon her ring finger and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving husband. To be a faithful and loving husband. And I feel so honored. And I feel so honored. To call you my wife. To call you my wife. There you go, it's no. fine. Teamwork, that's what marriage is. Perfect, all right. At this time, I'm gonna have you guys walk over to the Unity Candle. As I mentioned before, you both had your own path to this very moment. Each tape represents your individual lives here today. But in lighting the center one, your two individual lives will be no more. And you are creating one relationship, one life in this marriage. And at this time, may I have you take a hold of your individual taper and light the center candle at the same time. In creating this new life, you'll be creating a new journey with new memories to share. To blow out your individual? Perfect, thank you. I'll invite you back to the front of the podium. And it certainly is a wonderful occasion being here, along with friends and family. I'm pretty sure there are some that you wish were also here. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's something I'd like to share with you. And it says, surprise, surprise, Mum and Roger. <laughs> Bet you didn't expect to hear from us. We all wanted to say congratulations to you both on your wedding day. Mum, you're the best. And we're glad you have found Roger, who makes you so happy. Roger, welcome officially to our very mad family. <laughs> May the years ahead be filled with lots of happiness and fun for you. Enjoy the rest of your holiday. We're wishing you the both the happily ever after that you deserve. We love you. From your four daughters, and partners, and all your gorgeous grandchildren. And P.S. Mason and Max say they love you, <laughs> and they miss you. Wolf, wolf. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, thank you. You're so very welcome. Thank you. Bless you. Now, if you love somebody, you'll be loyal to them no matter what the cost. You'll always believe in them. You'll always trust them and you'll stand your ground in defending them, no matter what. There's a saying that I'd like to leave with you both, as I see couples standing next to one another. And it says, don't walk in front of me, I may not follow. Don't walk behind me, I may not lead. But walk beside me, as a friend. Because after all, that is what you're creating here today. A deeper, richer, stronger friendship, built upon, built upon the uh, foundation the relationship that you already have. So the 7th of September, a day that will now mark your anniversary in the presence of friends and family, it is my honor and it is my privilege to now be able to pronounce you as husband and wife. Roger, may I kiss your wife. Have you guys kiss again? One more time? Another kiss? Another kiss? It is. You know the note you read out? Yes, yes. Yeah. I wonder how they got that to us. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Like every guy's name. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, I'd like to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Cooper. Congratulations, the newlyweds.